Hello everyone, this is Vinay and I am going to teach you how to create a template for AutoCAD 2D drawings and import it. Okay. For that, let's start with AutoCAD 2017. This is my workspace. So here, I am going to do some settings now. So I don't know what are my units. Just type UNITS in my command bar. Enter. So this is I need it millimeters. So set it to millimeters and OK. So next I need to set the limits for this working space. So how do I set that? So just type limits. Enter. So it is asking me the lower left corner. So lower left corner will be zero comma zero. Enter. And upper right corner. This is for let's say it is for a per sheet. So low, upper right corner will be 297,20. Enter. So your limits are set. Let's I'll zoom it. Zoom enter or enter. So it's zoom. So I need to change the dimension style and style of my text and everything. For that, we start with the style. Style. Enter. <coughs> And here we go for a new file and rename it as drawing. Drawing. Okay. I need this Times New Roman. Done. And just apply it. Set current and close it. So basically, the style of your text has been changed to Times New Roman. So next is your dimension style. For that, just type D I M S T Y L T. Enter. Here, go for new. Continue this. And in text, you go for ISO standard. And hit OK. Then just copy and this. Close this. Okay. So the dimension style have been set now. So I'll go for line type. Type of my lines. Line type. So basically there are already three and I load two more of them. Just go for load. I load the center line and grand. So my two of the lights are loaded. Just click OK. This is done. So I'll create six more layers here. To create layers, I'll go for layer properties. Here I'll create I'll rename this layer one as center. So this is basically a center line or center line. Uh, this should be glowing. This also should be glowing. This slot should be open. The purpose of this slot is once you draw a line, center line, three, and when this is locked, okay, you cannot edit that. I mean, you cannot edit or delete that line. So for that, it should be always open. Change this color to magenta, and okay. So create a second layer, yes. dimension. So now we have changed this color to green and OK. Then uh, for dimension, my lines should be continuous only and just click OK. For this center, I'll just change my line type to center and OK. So create a next line as hidden. Hidden line, change this color to red. Okay, line type, uh, line width as 0 0.0 and save. Okay, this line type is hidden. Okay, so I'll create our one layer as thick. For thick, save, save it, screw, go for this dark blue. Okay, line type should be continuous. Continuous and line width. Continuous line width is 
zero point three zero mm and okay. First all options are sim. So similarly I go for thin thin line change this color to cyan then continue first all are same okay then I create something called view port view port port and change this color to black eighteen so the same and just cancel this print option or plot option okay so this six layers I have created just close this tab now I need to create a border with a template how to create a template we just go for rectangle so it is specified the corner 0 comma 0 order 297 comma 210 so this is basically your paper sheet I need to draw a border for this how to draw a border we go for offset option enter let's say 5 mm of offset enter let's select this line inside so let's create a box so i need to draw a title box now how will i do this we go for line so i know the dimension of my title box as height something 40 enter width is 100 enter I have drawn this extra line just select delete so I will again go for offset option this one is 10 so 2 3 here again I need to offset this to here with 60mm prime distance so offset again enter 60mm select this click here so this create your title box you need to enter the text here how will I enter the text just go for text text enter specifically starting from somewhere here write as 3m enter just write it as title close this so I will just select this and I will it so similarly I need to write all my text here for that I will not again go on writing the text I'll just select this right click from selection this point from here to here here similarly here here here, here. Okay. so I don't need this line so I'll just trim it off so I need to edit this text with name. And the student is the girl number. And here shape number. With what scale you are going to draw that? So, you name this as I need to increase the text of this. I need height to be a bit more. So, I'll just go for properties, right click, and in a height of your text, you can see this option and just go for fire now. And that increase the text. It just click then now this now just move it here okay so this create your template with the border and your title box so next I will go for this layout beside your model layout is there you can see your template here and just go for layout and right click go for page setup manager I will start with a new one find Select the plenty of options. I need to clear my drawing to PDF. I go for drawing to PDF here, and my sheet is ISO full plate F. So ISO full plate F for 297. 
to it. Okay, the next open we need to select this complete ruler for that. You know the dimensions as zero comma zero enter two ninety seven comma two one zero enter. Can send it to plot and we will be a drive. So why it is not showing? That I'm going to cancel. Go for layer. Page setup manager. Drawing. is your template. Just close this and go for OK and set it current. Close this. So I'll save this template in my folder. Just control S so my desktop. And go for my folder here that save this as Service. So this creates your template. So now I start with a new drawing. So I cannot start creating this template again and import it to the template here and publish it with the PDF. So for that, what I will do is I will start with a new drawing. Suppose I am starting with a new drawing. Start. I will start with a fresh drawing. So here I am not having any of my layers here. None of my styles have been set in dimension style or text style have been. Made. They have not been set to appropriate style, so I don't have to again set them or again create them. So I just I know I have just drawn this uh, template and I can import those settings here. How will I do that now? Let's go ahead. Before starting that, I'll go for units. Set my units. It should be in millimeters. Okay, and I need to set my limits. As I did it in the template creation, 0 comma 0 enter 297 comma 210. Limits have been set. Then zoom enter. All right. So this is done. So next we'll start. The option will go for insert. Beside your home type insert. There's something called design center is there. I'll go here and I'll search my file. I'll search my file in my desktop. I have saved it in a desktop. In my name as here in the double click again. So these all are your set settings which you are going to import it to your this drive. Go for dim style here, copy a file so drag and drop it here. So next layers, select all the seven, I'll drag and Drop it here. Then layouts. Select all, drag and drop it. Similarly, line types. Drag and drop it. And textiles, drawing, drag and drop it. So we have dragged and dropped everything. I just close this tab. Then I need to make sure they are in a current working and it should be set current. Go for this notation. Where it is annotation is somewhere this drawing modified this of this annotation in the home form. So here I'll go for this alphabet A, I'll select my drawing, I'll set it current and equal this. Again annotation and standard here, copy of ISO, set current and close this. So this is done. This setting what you have done is you can see it can see all the things have been loaded here. Previously they have not been there. You imported them and dragged and dropped it. 
they all came in here so this is done so next i'll go for layout here I'll go for layout i need my to import your template here so how will i import that template which have been created previously for this i'll go for this block option here that you can see insert I'll just browse it is asking me to browse browse my template and then open it here make sure this all options are off click ok and go don't click anywhere just go to layout one and right click it you can see page setup manager here select your drawing setup set it current and close this so you can see in drawing here just select this and click this ok so this is your template what my purpose is see i don't have any drawing here but if i create any drawing so let me do some drawings here okay i need to import this drawing to my layout how will i import this drawing which have been created in the model i need to import in my layout or your template how will i import that see under there is an option under layout called a rectangle we'll select this select this corner to this corner and you can see the three drawings have been displayed on your template but the scale of this drawing is more so i need to reduce the scale how will i reduce that just go and double click on your space you can see with your scroll of your mouse you can scroll it down to a certain scale you can see you can zoom just as you zoom in your workspace you can scale this or you can even do your scaling and the tab here you can even scale using this scale next to two you can see here the scale can be done so once this is done once this scale have been set up just go for print option here and then all are same here if you want to preview your drawing you can preview this is your template and these are your drawings okay just close this and you click ok and you will save as your drawing save one in your folder go for your folder and save your drawing so this completes your drawing so whenever start a new drawing you simply just drag and drop all the things here once you drag and drop them you create your drawing and go for layout follow the procedure which i showed thank you